Spring Boot is a powerful framework for rapidly building Spring-based applications and microservices. Most Spring Boot applications would connect to a backend database to fetch and persist data. For these applications, if there is a connection leak, detecting it easily and quickly is essential to keep the applications up and running. In this video, we will take a look at a sample app where we are using a database connection to a backend MySQL database to fetch some information and then not closing the connection. Hikari CP is the default connection pool provider with Spring Boot version 2. We will see how to specify Hikari CP properties to quickly detect all connection leaks happening in our application. We will then fix those connection leaks and see how we can monitor the connection pool state to ensure it's healthy. Here is a Spring Boot application where we are using Spring Data JPA to work with the backend MySQL database. Here we have a model object, books, implemented with fields, book ID, book name, book price, etc. Using CRUD repository interface, we generate the CRUD methods for it. In the book service class, we have auto-wired the book repository interface and the data source. We have two methods, get all, which calls the repository get all method to return all books, and then another method get average, where we are obtaining a connection from the data source and running a SQL manually to obtain the average and returning it. If you have noticed, we are not closing the connection here, and hence this method is leaking connection. Finally, in our controller class, we have mapped books URI after the base API to get all items and get average to get the average price for the books. Here we have the import.sql file where we have two simple insert statements to insert in the books table upon application startup. In the application.properties file, we have the spring.jpa.hibernate.ddl-auto set to create-drop which will create the books table upon startup of the application and drop it when the application is shut down. Here are the properties for the connection to a backend MySQL database. And here are the Hikari CP connection pool properties for minimum idle connection of 5, max connection of 20, etc. Then, to have Hikari CP help us detect connection leaking, we have also put the leak hyphen detection hyphen threshold property to be 1000 milliseconds. The setting is too low, and I want to demonstrate to you how Spring Boot will tell you this. To see the Hikari CP connection pool state, we have also set the logging level for com.zaxer.hikari to debug. Alright, let me start the application first. Looking at the console, you can see that it creates a book object and inserts our initial data. Up here, we see the Hikari CP properties, and here you can see Spring Boot telling you that leak detection threshold is less than 2000 milliseconds or more than the max lifetime, so disabling it. So let's stop the application. Change the leak detecting threshold value to 2100 milliseconds. Let's start the application again. And this time, the leak detection setting has taken effect. Now, let me open the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080 slash API slash get average to invoke our method with connection leak. We see the result. Going to the console, we see that Hikari CP has detected the connection leak and it also pinpoints to us where it is happening. So our book services get average method. Let us click it and it takes us right to that place. Cool. Hikari CP will indicate to you all the places in the execution where the connection pool leak is happening. So to demonstrate that, let me get another connection using data source connection, calling it connection one. Let's surround it with try catch. And inside, let's just use it for something. Let's put a system out for connection one dot get schema. Of course, you could use the connection object created down here, but I just want to illustrate to you Hikari CP's ability to point to all connection leaks in the path of execution. Now, let us start the application again. Go to the browser and invoke the method again. Go to the console 
and this time we see two places where connection leak is indicated. Book service class line 37. Let's click that. Yes, this is the place we know. Scrolling up, we see the second one at line 29. Let's click that and it correctly takes us to the second place where we opened the connection and not closed it. Another thing to note at the bottom is that Hikari CP, due to our debug setting, is telling us now there are a total of 7 connections of which 2 are active. These are not returned back to the pool even though our call is completed. Let's fix this now. In our book service class, let us use try with resources java feature. To obtain the resource, we want java to handle closing after use inside try. So let's move our connection object and our statement over here. Similarly for the lower section, let's move the connection and statement lines inside the try. Save it. Now java will automatically handle closing them after use. Let's start our application again. Go to the browser and execute the URL. Going to the console, we see that this time there is no connection leak error. Also we see that the connections are returned back to the pool after use and so we have a total of 5 and 0 active connections as we would expect with a normally working app with no leak. Now this was a very simple application where we had kept the connection leaks higher up in the application stack and was very easy to see. But Hikari CP can similarly point you to connection leaks happening embedded deep into the application code. Isn't that cool? In this video, we saw how we can configure Hikari CP to show us the places where connection leaks are happening in our application. And then we fixed the leaks and demonstrated the connection pool state after the fix. Thanks for watching.